Allah 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 Aziz Allah 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 Kareem Allah 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 Subhanallah Allah 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 Sultanallah Ya Rabbi Anta Sultan Nahnu Abid Audu Bi Minash Shaitan Rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah wa shukrulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa lahu akbar wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi alayhi alazim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Atiur la atiur rasul wal uli al amri minkum Dastur madad ya rishalullah madad ya sultanul awliya Madad ya sahib al imdad madad al haq Praise be to Allah Azza wa Jal that honor us from a magnificent evening. Evening of feast. Evening of celebration. Yomul Jumu'ah. Crown of the week. And that he favor us to be sitting in the majlis of dhikr. A majlis of dhikr in the assembly of Sultanul Awliya. Only if we knew the reality of those Awliya. How Allah Azawajal chose among his servants mighty lions. With heavenly support, one like a thousand or more. Prophet Abdul Salat was salam is the manifestation of greatness. He is the manifestation of perfection. He is the manifestation of the greatness of his Lord. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. From the greatness of Allah Azza wa Jal, he chose to bestow his uh, greatness on the crown of creation. That's why we call him Fakhr al-Kainat. He is the pride of creation. He is the perfect servant. He is the one for whom Allah Azawajal created to put under his authority the whole creation. Yet, the Lord of creation, Jalla Jalaluhu, chose to manifest Prophet Sallallahu the last to manifest him in a very humble way. His greatness has been dressed with a mantle of humbleness. And Allah Azza wa Jal showing. Ya Abdi, don't get trapped in your imagination. Greatness belongs to Allah. He is and we are not. He veiled himself. And he chose the greatness to be always manifested into this world in a humble way, in an anonymous way in a subtle way. When he was speaking to companions, he was speaking
speaking about Rijalullah. He said, Rijalullah, there are some men from Allah. Their function is to assist east and west. If you are lost in the desert and your camel has disappeared, call up to them. They shall rescue you. When he spoke about the greatest of human beings, he spoke about those servants, their reality, one like a thousand. Then he spoke about Prophet Sallallahu reality of the function of Abdal. He said there is a quality of men called the Budala. One of them, their reality is so mighty, they may call the sun, and the sun will lower itself and come at their feet to, to pay its respect. Then he said about his companion, his iman, was about Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. His Iman is greatest than the Iman of all creation combined. If you put the whole creation on one side of the scale and his Iman on the other side, his Iman is heavier. Radiallahu anhu arda. Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. The truthful one. And he said, about himself, very little. When the companion came, and they wanted to show their respect and stand, to stand up, he said, don't. Out of what? Humbleness. But then he gave teaching. Stand up for your Sayyid. To show ihtiram, to show respect. When your elder come, stand up. When your leader come, stand up. Such a subtle eloquence, subtlety. Tarikati Naqshibandila til Aliyah is a subtle way. It is the way of Maulana Sheikh Nazim. Allah sanctifying his secret. He is the one that carried that flag and brought it to this last generation. And he is, it is the way of Sayyidina Sheikh, Grand Sheikh, Abdullah Faiz al It is the way of Sayyidina Sheikh Khalid al-Baghdadi. It is the way of Mujadadi al-Sibtani, Imam Rabbani. Sheikh Ahmed Serhindi. It is the way of Sayyidina Ghawsa Khalika Hawaja Shah Bahauddin Naqshbandi. It is the way of Sayyidina Khidr alayhi salam. As he was granted to keep the secret for a century. To receive the secret to manifest his reality and to blend it into the secret. It is the way of Sayyidina Sheikh Yusuf Hamadani, about whom Ghaus Azam, 
Sina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani Qaddas Salaw Sirul said, if it was not from his dua, I wouldn't reach my position when he said, my foot is on the neck of all awliya. He said, this is from the dua of Sheikh Yusuf Hamadan. It is the way of Sayyidina Sheikh Sultan Arifin, Sheikh Abu Yazid Bustan. It is the way carried par by Sayyidina Salman Farisi, enough as an eloquence to show wi which way it is. It is the way of Sayyidina Imam Jafar Sadiq. Emerge reality of Sadiqiyah that was coming from Sayyidina Abu Bakr al Sadiq, his grandfather, and he re emerge reality of the 40 Turuk that he was granted through Sayyidina Ali Karamallah Washa. Yet, majority of those. Awliya are but Awliya far away from the station of Sahaba, far away from the station of Anbiya. They are like shining stars. Imam Rabbani, Prophet Sallallahu said, he called him from his time, as sila will come a master in the history. His asila is the bridge. He will give a blow of life for another thousand years for Islam. This is from words of Prophet Sallallahu That's why they call him Imam Rabbani Mujadadi al Sasani, the revivificator of the new millenary. So this tariqa is dressed under a subtle way, a humble way. Don't get caught into the appearances. Only the sincere and those chosen from their destiny, may see its reality, may dive into its reality according to their secret, according to their intention. What is our intention? Maulana Sheikh, when he was teaching from teaching of Grand Sheikh, he used to tell us, Sayyidina Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad Nazim al-Haqqani, whoever will come with an empty glass, we shall fill it with a heavenly ocean. Whoever will come with his own glass full, whatever we will pull, pour into it, it, it will not do anything. Sheikh Hisham, one time he was doing like that. He put the glass, the glass was full of water. He took the pitcher and he was pouring onto it and it was coming from outside and filling everywhere. He said, don't be like those glasses. Don't come with your mind. Don't come with your opinion. Don't come with your knowledge. Don't come with whatever you think. At the gate, at the threshold of people of reality, Erase yourself. Come in nothingness. 
لايك سيدنا الشيخ عبد القادر جيلاني قدس له السر كيم اند سات اون ذا فوت ستيبس اوف شيخ سيدنا الشيخ يوسف حمداني اند سيد او شيخ او ماي شيخ اي كيم فور يور بليسنج and he raised himself completely when he came with two other people and they came with their understanding and their claim and their this way is subtle those that went on the way are a proof of its reality a proof of its efficiency and those that were mentioned before are only shuyuk some of them from the golden chain they are not the golden chain and they are not all those under the golden chain that has been authorized and one like them more powerful on the side of his lord like a thousand people how many of them you didn't hear about sheikh muhammad parisa you didn't hear about datasab ali hujwairi qaddasallahu sir how many like that and there are those we know and those we don't from rijalullah one time sheikh al akbar sheikh muhyiddin ibn arabi he was asked O Sheikh, so many of creation, what are their levels in the eyes of Allah? He said for the believers, their levels are four. You have the commoners. they are trying their best tumma manu tumma kafar they are tainted by their desires they do their best they fulfill their they are trying to fulfill their duties and they are in the level of those that submitted to their lord muslim he said then there are others like prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam described those are the believers he described like that he say sign of their iman is evident as prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if you ask them their prayer might be accepted like prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about mu'min he said and then comes awliya the friends of allah their manifestation is a sign I, their manifestation is a miracle you see from their hands miracle you see from their outpouring so much ability to act and to change by the power of their lord so people wonder oh sheikh you spoke about 
four categories. And he described, he said those, their, what Allah gave them is evident. If they fall on the water from the boat, they will walk on water. He said there is a fourth category. Hidden. Anonymous. Covered by their Lord. If you meet them, you don't differentiate them with the commoners. If they fall in the water and they don't know how to swim, they sunk. They sink. But if Allah will unveil their reality, the whole creation will prostrate in sajda, thinking that the Lord is manifesting his face to the servant. From that radiance, from that mightiness, from that, that power. What he said? Those are the master from Sadiqiya are from those ones. This is from words of Sheikh Muhyiddin ibn Arabi, Sheikh al-Akbar. When he was speaking, Sadiqiya is the name of Naqshbandiya. The Mashaykh from Naqshbandiya are known to be Ma'alami from the, they have a state where they do silly things. Yani, something sometime awkward, sometime blamable. One of the students of Sayyidina Sheikh Sultan Arifin Taifur Sheikh Abu Yazid Bistami. He knew about the power of his Sheikh, but he saw that very few students. He said, oh, my sheikh, why from the jazm, the power you have, you don't attract more? He was a sincere one. So his sheikh told him, follow me, let's go to the market. I need your help. They went to the market. They went to the chicken market. They bought a chicken. And the sheikh said, I like this one. And you know, in old days, not like now. Now when you want to buy the chicken, where you go? Probably go Carrefour, uh, Beka. Or whatever, where they you know, you buy it fresh Pla in the plastic. You ask the children where the children, th the chicken they grow, they say in the food store. <laughs> no, before, in old days, what you do, you go to the market, they are alive. What do you say, this one? They take it in front of you. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Then after, it starts uh, going around a little bit. After they put it into hot water, they remove the feather and, and under the, the flame, they remove what is left and you go with it. So it came like that. So I like this one. The seller came, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. He cut the throw, the chicken start going around and he said, no, finally I changed my mind. I like the other one. He said, Bismillah, Bismillah rahman rahim He put his finger, the neck came back, the chicken stood up and started running. Allahu Akbar. Mu'jizat. 
כרמת, הוא שייח, הלמה, יתיר, the title starts flowing. And by three days, the whole village and village around were coming after him. And his assembly was covering up the pool. Then one night, he said, one day he said to his, uh, that student, please go out and buy for me in the market some bowels. You know the bowels? Yes. Intestine. What they use to put uh, sausages, merguez, or uh, sujuk. Before now, we do it uh, artificially. So the student went, and the sheikh, he took part, cut, attached one side, attached the other side, put under his pant. And it was the time of prayers. People were lining up before, bef bef behind him, thousands of people. They heard about the miracle. They came. Then he said, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. La samia lahu liman hamida. He went on sajda. When he sit back, it squeeze here and it make the noise. <laughs> <laughs> and the Sheikh continue, Allahu Akbar. Yeah. Allahu Akbar. He came back <laughs> making the noise. <laughs> By the time he finished that Isha prayer for Rakat, the line were slowly, slowly emptying until no one remains. Because what happens? In fiqh, in, in the prayer is invalid if there is a wind that passed. So if it comes accidentally, you have to close the prayer and leave and go renew wudu. And he was going and continuing, and there were they say, this one, this one is from the Majanin. <laughs> it's not what we are thinking. It's a, a crazy one. <laughs> 101 from Islam is Tahara, is the cleanness. He doesn't know that, uh, and we believe in him. They all left. So after that, he finished the prayer. His murids was there. Oh, Ya Waladi, my son. What is happening? And that one, he was embarrassed. He was so, Alhamdulillah, oh, how now the world is seeing the greatness of my Sheikh. What happened? Where are all these people? Sheikh, they left. They say, yeah, what are these? They came for a simple miracle or reviving a chicken. They left for the noise of the bowel. Karamat is not for attracting people. If it was that, Allah would have shower the Prophet Sallallahu and his companions and the inheritors awliya with so much. They challenged Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and order came from Allah. Shakar uh, Kamar. Order came from from Allah Azza wa Jal, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He didn't do by himself. When they ask for a miracle, Allah Azza wa Jal order, accept Jibril, let him split the moon. Prophet split the moon in two. Did, did they believe what they say? 
or what uh, manifestation on, of an evident magic. And still, so many miracles. But Prophet Sallallahu one time, he outpour for thousands of companion water from his hand in the middle of the desert. After they were dying from <coughs> thirst, by the order of Allah Azawajal, they were asked to stay. And they wanted to go Prophet say, I am ordered to stay. There is no permission. Sayyidina Jibril didn't give the permission. They were lacking water after a few days. Some of the companions, they start dying. Sayyidina Umar anhu say, tell, told him, Ya Rasulullah, these are Bedouins. They may find water anywhere. Give them the permission. He say, we don't. Three days passed. Some of the companions, they died. Then the order came, and Prophet Sallallahu said, is any water left? They said, no, there is nothing left. They found drops in one of the, not the jars, but the, the water sack. They take the skin of the goat, they attach the edge, and they put water into it. One of them had some drop left. They came, he said, put it on my hand. The drop fall, fell onto his hand, and from that drop, under his hand, start gushing water. They drank. The camels that survived, that they didn't kill to get their water, quench their thirst, and you know when the camel is drinking, it's not like you and me. When the pouch is empty, they may drink 50, 70 liters. They drank all of them to satiation from his hand. Who was there? Not the unbelievers. Was intimate, close companion. Because their iman is already there. So when Grand Sheikh, Sayyidina Sheikh Abdullah Faiz al Mistani, was giving Hijaza to Maulana Sheikh, Sheikh Nazim, he told him, Ya Nazim Effendi, we are entering into a, a, a time, I am ordering you to divorce karamat murjizat six times not three when you divorce three you don't come back to it he said to for safety six times divorce it don't show it why we are entering into the time of the dajjal dajjal will come and trick people with what with miracles. He will come with fire in one hand and ice in the other. He will kill the animal and revive it. He will slice a beast in two. He will stick, uh, glue it back and it will run alive. And everyone will be, oh, like who? Like Bani Israel with the golden cow. When Samari built it, he put from knowledge that he had and was able to make it to move and to speak and to emit a sound. To speak like a magnificent glowing light, golden. Oh, mashallah, what a miracle! They want surrender. 
Tumona në Shekh Nazim dhe qim dhe orme, nga i vorës në rëtëm. As much as it was done by some of the Mashiach, suddenly make sure no sign until Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam will come, it will open. So this path is built on humbleness and subtlety. Don't underestimate its reality. Don't underestimate who is holding it. Don't underestimate the ability to take you to your reality. If you put your trust, you may reach. If you speculate, you will be drawn into your own speculation. The intention has to be pure. Determination has to be strong. Belief, belief has to be without a shaking. Believe in your sheikh. Believe in what he gives you. Don't speculate. Oh, but like this. Oh, but like that. Maybe the sheikh didn't want to, it was not meaning like this. Oh, the sheikh, he gave us to do like this, but I am feeling more interesting to do like that. We are doing it every day. Today is the Khatul Khajagan. No? Yom al Jumu'ah, Khatul Khajagan of Thursday. Where are the people? In 60 years that Maulana Sheikh Hisham was leading this Khatul Khajagan, you ever heard he missed a Thursday? Forget that. He is from the category that never missed a Hajjud. Since you hear about Maulana Sheikh Nazim, did you see that he didn't attend Khat Khajagan? Maulana Sheikh told us. Don't underestimate the value of this. Grand Sheikh said, I am giving Prophet Sallallahu through a line and every Sheikh inheriting the silsila is adding a layer of reality from his own channel. Because Awliya, from a certain level, Maulana Sheikh Nazim described them like those that have an open channel by themselves, they don't need for an intermediary. Allah opened to them something that is connected to heaven that <coughs> gush from their reality. He told us like that, Maulana Sheikh Nazim. And he was pointing, Sheikh Hisham was sitting next to him. He said, he is one like that. From his channel, I am listening and I am giving you teaching, Sohba. So some of them like that. Khatma Khajagan is not something small. After Tariqa, was going through Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sadiq and through Sayyidina Salman Farisi and to Sayyidina Imam Jafar Sadiq and to Sayyidina Sheikh Abu Yazid Bistami and to Sayyidina Sheikh Yusuf Hamadani, it came to Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Khalid Gujduwani. After it stays a hundred years with Sayyidina Khidr alayhi salam, the secret to be enlightened from uh, reality of Hakika that he detained, Sheikh Abdul Khalid Gujduwani was ordered to 
out, outpour from that inheritance the Khatm Khajagan, the seal of the master, which is the Nakshiband the Zikr. So Maulana Sheikh Ishami was saying. We have been ordered by Grand Sheikh. Don't miss the Khatm Khajagan. If you miss it, either you are dead, or you are sick, or you are traveling, or you have a guest that you cannot leave. If that guest you leave him, might be a diplomatic incident. Four reasons. Are we in those four reasons? Are we knowing what is Khat Khajagan? What Grand Sheikh said about it? What Maulana Sheikh Nazim said about it? How you do your own blending of practices, thinking that you are going to reach? Grand Sheikh said, if good understanding, give us himma, <coughs> spiritual enthusiasm. Allow masabitna ala al haq. Allah give us constant, constancy on haq. May he infuse us with the subtlety necessary for the, for the quest. May he shield us from humbleness. May he make us to see the truth in a universe of falsehood and to, to see what is false in a whole universe of reality. May he give us for Khan the uh, how you translate for Khan discernment. May he give us the discernment that he described in his holy book when he's speaking about the believers. Ya Rabbi, the honor, by the honor, by the barakah, by the intercession of the one beloved to you, don't leave us to ourselves. Don't leave us to our own imagination. Don't leave us. Make us to be from those that will not be sitting by a treasure and will not benefit from it. Your beloved one, call it the biggest losers. We have been granted to enter into the courtyard of your holy friends. Yet, we are drowning into our own self. Ya Rabbi. In spite of our will, you may save us. Ila Hadratin Nabil Fat.